Earth's oceans are home to some truly terrifying creatures. From predatory sea critters named for land animals, such as the Atlantic wolf fish and the rat tail, to underwater beings that look truly alien, like the hagfish and the faceless cusk eel, what lives at the bottom of our oceans is entirely otherworldly. Here are 10 real sea monsters found in the deep. By the way, make sure to click that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our engaging videos and use that trigger finger by smashing that like button. Now, let's get into it. Number 10, Frilled Shark. With its grisly appearance, the frilled shark is an example of a living fossil, an extant animal whose appearance has not evolved much through the millennia. The term can also apply to creatures that have few or no close surviving relatives. What's most unusual about this prehistoric looking predator, which is endemic to the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, is the way it reproduces. In other mammal species, embryos are nourished via a placenta. However, frilled shark embryos obtain energy from yolk sacs and mothers only give birth once offspring are capable of surviving on their own. Growing up to seven feet long, frilled sharks primarily prey on squid. They've also been known to feed on fish and even other sharks. Number eight, faceless cusk eel. As the name suggests, the faceless cusk eel has no face. Like dementors of the fish world, these eels don't have a face. Australian researchers found a faceless cusk an incredible 13,000 feet below the water surface. Expedition leader Dr. Tim O'Hara of Australian's Museums Victoria told The Guardian, it looks like two rear ends on a fish, really. Apparently, its mouth sits underneath the rest of its body, and it's protrusible, meaning it extends to catch food and then disappears back inside of its own body. Oceanographers aboard the HMS Challenger collected the first specimen of the species in 1873, which was the last time one was ever seen. Number seven, Atlantic wolffish. Characterized by a mouthful of sharp canine-like teeth, the Atlantic wolffish lives up to its lupine moniker. A predatory species that feeds on hard-bodied or spiny invertebrates like sea urchins and large marine snails, this creature is not aggressive towards humans unless provoked you'll find the Atlantic wolffish, which can grow up to five feet long in North Atlantic and Arctic oceans. Preferring chillier water, it lives at depths ranging from 328 feet to 1,640 feet. With its lengthy eel-like body, this fish is also known as a wolf eel. Number six, goblin shark. You can identify goblin sharks, a rare bottom-dwelling species, by the shape of their snouts, which are elongated and flattened. With 50 teeth in their mouths, these gruesome creatures command attention. Interestingly, female goblin sharks are larger in adulthood than the males of the species. Females can be a maximum of 11 inches long, while males grow to be an average length of 8.66 inches. Various anatomical features of the goblin shark, such as its flabby body and small fins, suggest it's sluggish in nature. This species hunts for teleost fishes, cephalopods, and crustaceans both near the sea floor and in the middle of the water column. The goblin shark has been caught in all three major oceans, indicating a wide global distribution. Number five, vampire squid. In Latin, the name of this cephalopod, which is neither a squid nor an octopus, is even more sinister. Its scientific name, Vampyrotuthus infernalis, means vampire squid from hell. But the vampire squid, found in the inky depths of the mesopelagic zone, about 3,300 feet below the ocean's surface, is gentler than its appellation indicates. Unlike its namesake, it doesn't feed on blood. Instead, this creature subsists on marine snow, decaying organic material that falls to the ocean floor, kind of like the dead leaves that litter forests. The vampire squid is a small cephalopod found throughout temperate and tropical oceans in extreme deep sea conditions. The vampire squid uses its bioluminescent organs and its unique oxygen metabolism to thrive in parts of the ocean with the lowest concentrations of oxygen. Number four, anglerfish. The anglerfish, possibly one of the world's ugliest creatures, is most famous for the bioluminescent growth on its head, which lures prey to its death at the lightless bottom of the ocean. However, there are more than 200 species of anglerfish divided into four groups, goosefish, batfish, frogfish, and deep sea angler. Only females possess the iconic bioluminescent angling apparatus. Most live at the bottom of the Atlantic and Antarctic oceans, sometimes as far as a mile below the surface. Some anglerfish can be quite large, reaching 3.3 feet in length. Most, however, are significantly smaller, often less than a foot. Anglerfish lure, their most distinctive feature, worn by only females, is a piece of dorsal spine that protrudes above their mouths like a fishing pole, hence their name. Number three deep-sea dragonfish. Its scientific name is Grammatostomius flagellibarba. 
deep down in the Atlantic Ocean at depths of up to 5,000 meters lurks this ferocious predator. The conditions down here are extreme. There's no light, no plant life, and the environment are entirely still because it is unaffected by storms or ocean currents. To deal with this, the dragonfish uses light-producing organs called photophores to lure prey into its fang-toothed jaws. Bonus creepy fact, an odd characteristic of this species is the absence of some vertebrae in its spine. This enables the dragonfish to have greater flexibility of its head, allowing them to feast on larger prey. The deep sea dragonfish is one of many species of deep sea fish that can produce its own light through a chemical process known as bioluminescence. The light is produced by a special organ known as a photophore. It's believed that the fish can use these flashing lights in dark waters to attract prey and even signal potential mates. Number two, fang tooth fish. Its scientific name is Anoplungaster cornuta. This menacing creature is one of the deepest living fish ever discovered. It has been recorded as far down as 5,000 meters below sea level, where the pressure is 500 times greater than that of land. Bonus creepy fact, the fang tooth holds another title to its name, the largest teeth of any marine species relative to the size of its body. In fact, they're so disproportionately large that the fang tooth is unable to fully close its mouth. The common fang tooth, along with the only one other species of fang tooth, is more closely related to shallow water squirrel fishes than to other deep sea fishes. Though they look menacing and are voracious predators, common fang tooths are harmless to humans. Number one, Pacific Viperfish. Its scientific name is Chalitus macuni. This deep sea dweller is the ultimate predator. Using photophores located across its dorsal spine, the viperfish lures unwilling prey before capturing them in its long needle-like fangs. Definitely not a creature you should be messing around with. Bonus creepy fact. Similar to the fang tooth, the viperfish's large fangs are unable to fit inside their mouth. Instead, they curl back on the outside, resulting in an even more monstrous appearance. At night, it swims up into shallower depths of less than 200 meters where food is more plentiful. Pacific viperfish mainly feed on fish, but they will go after crustaceans, plankton, shrimp, small fish, and occasionally will catch larger fish. The main fish they feed on are myctophids, or otherwise known as lanternfish. Which among these sea monsters terrified you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue giving you the best content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.